All right, guys, we are out here doing something a little different today, something I've never done before. It is February 7th, and we are in the boat. So i got my buddy Brandon with me today. He's uh, been itching to get down here and target some walleyes on the Mississippi River during the winter. So we're a little bit sick of ice fishing. Thought we'd change it up, do some open water fishing. I'm uh, going to try some blade baits, some jigging plastics, and if all else fails, maybe a jig and a minnow today. So I had a couple issues when we got out here today. Um, motor wasn't running quite right. I looked back, realized we were leaking some gas. We had a fuel line that went bad. So we got that all fixed up. We're running good. And uh, we're going to run around, try and find some fish, and then we'll catch back up with you guys in a little bit. There's definitely a lot more current than the last time we were here. Oh, yeah. A lot more. Because, I mean, before we could kind of cast up there and our bait would kind of sit in place, but not today. I mean, there's fish here. They just don't. I don't think we can effectively fish them and get down to bottom to try and catch them. Good fish? Yep. On the ice rod. How's it feel, Brandon? It feels... You're on this thing. <laughs> Hopefully it's decent. It's fighting kind of funny. Filling a walleye? I don't know. It feels like fish. Is that a northern? You got a northern, Brandon. Do I really? Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> it's cozy. I don't look how fat the belly is. I know. It's chunky. There you go guys, Brandon caught that one on his ice fishing rod. Not the target species, but got the skunk out of the boat. Now we have the stinky northern in the boat. He gone. Good thing you brought that ice fishing rod, huh? Right. I think it's time to move along. Just thinking the same thing. Mississippi walleye, first one of the year, February 7th. Throw that one back. Nice job, Brandon. Now the real skunks out. Shore side, you saw them? Both sides. Net. Nah. It's a fish, though. Nice job, bud. Might be a keeper. Oh yeah. We should probably net it. Only because he's got it swallowed. There you go guys, nice 18 incher. We're gonna take that one home and eat it. That one absolutely smoked it, dude. Nice chunky walleye too. Nice walleye. Yeah. I mean, we'd be lucky to catch one like that back home ice fishing, so I'm thrilled. So, if you didn't notice when we were seeing other people catching fish, Brandon, what size fish were they catching? Tinies. And where were they fishing? Up there. What, what type of depth? Oh. Pretty deep, right? Because they're in the middle of the channel. Both the fish we caught have been in 10 to 15, maybe 17 feet of water, 16, 17. I have a feeling a little later in the afternoon, 
if we go back up there, I think it might be a little hotter. I, uh, I got a good feeling about this spot. You know why, Brandon? Why is that? Because the sun's going to hit it for longer than that spot. The water's going to warm up more. I don't, I don't know why, but that's just my theory. Oh, good one, good one. It's not as good as I thought, but it's not bad. I can get it, Brandon. I got it. No, that one's going really well. I don't know. It's really dogging me. I think I'll let that one go, Brandon. Looks like a 2021. Very similar to yours. Four. Yes, sir. In a couple seconds. <laughs> Oh, there you go guys, got another good one there. That one is just under 20 inches. Looks like a nice female there. We're gonna let her go, let her spawn out. Hopefully she'll make it till spring and spawn out. What we've been using so far today is just a jig and a plastic. I'm using a quarter ounce Kalen's Rattle and Google Eye jig head with a um, Kalen's Tickle Tail. I think that's a 3.8 inch. It's in a green color. I don't know what they call it for sure. Running that on a gold standard outdoors. It's actually a drop shot rod, but it works great for jigging as well with a Shimano Sedona 2500 series. Great setup, really easy to feel the bites. And uh, the other thing we're using is a blade bait, and I'll show that a little bit later. Everything's coming on jigging a plastic so far, hasn't it? Uh, well, your northern was on a jigging a minute. That one don't count. So, yeah, everything's been on jigging. Huh, interesting. It's not like you're going to catch a million fish this time of year. That's a fish, that's a good one. Ed? Yeah. Unfortunately, we lost audio for part of the day, but this was about a 20 inch walleye caught on an Acme V rod, pinned it to the bottom and hooked him right there in the top lip. Using blade baits to target walleyes is very fun because it can be an aggressive bite and it's my go-to bait when I'm fishing cold water walleyes. One important tip is to run either a snap swivel or a split ring on your blade bait, otherwise the metal edges can cut your line. I like to run 10 to 20 pound braid as my main line down to a 10 pound floral leader. Using that floral leader helps reduce your line getting hooked on your back hook. When I'm pitching blade baits, I like to run a St. Croix medium fast rod. I find that a medium light the tip is just a little too spongy and you don't get the same action from the bait. Hey, that was on the blade bait. It was. Nice. You know I like my blade bait walleyes. It's, just, it's a fun, fun way to fish for them. It's almost like bass fishing, but for walleyes. I like any fish, any walleye. Well, I do too, but something about you being able to use an aggressive presentation, because you know when when you're young, you're learning how to fish. You always told walleyes, finesse, live bait, you know. I catch them all the time on crankbaits when we're going for bass. And I don't know. There's something fun about getting a walleye when you're doing something aggressive. For me. Big one. Big one. Big one. Felt big anyways. Still feels big. And 
again, guys, we were battling some more audio issues here, but this fish was 27 inches and somewhere between eight and eight and a half pounds. My scale battery was dying, was not very happy with me, and this one hit the blade bait. Here, as you can see, it absolutely inhaled it. A lot of people ask me why I run the Acme V rods, and that is why, right there. Our mic died and it is almost dark so we're just about done fishing i'm gonna film the outro now if we get something after this i'll put it in might be kind of dark though definitely had a really good time really nice to be able to get out on the open water in kind of the middle of winter february and uh, just nice to take a break from ice fishing and do something different so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and uh if it's something you're interested in doing it's something you can do pretty much year round except for when it gets really really cold and the landing gets froze over so, kind of cool that we have this opportunity so close to home. Like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Another nice 26 incher, seven and a quarter pounds. Beautiful Mississippi walleye. What an awesome day, guys. 27, eight and a half pounds, 26, seven and a quarter pounds. Got some good eaters. Heck of a day. If you guys like open water fishing, you're sick of ice fishing, come on down to the Mississippi River, target some big old walleyes.